So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to double check how to um, implement uh, the coefficient of determination, so our R square um, in C++ um, code um, in order to implement it maybe in a, in a library or something like that. So the coefficient of determination is a, a metric that you will see if you're um, reading your paper with um, uh, that is doing some sort of linear, so some sort of regression thing. Um, so, for instance, in ordinary least square, you're going to see um, we didn't see that come up a lot. So the formula is like this. So it's one minus sum of square residual divided by sum of square uh, total. So the sum of square residual is this. It's um, the actual value minus um, your modeled um, um, your predicted value over here, exponent two, and you sum this up, and those are the the residual squared and uh, the total sum of square is um, uh, with respect to the mean so you have the actual value of the y uh, minus the mean uh, exponent 2 and you sum this up and that's what you get and what you want here a good r square is um, close to 1 because that thing will be 0 and um, so here are the intuition so this is the sum of square total and this is the sum of square um, um, residual so you want these to be as small as possible um, because this is like the error that we have and then you square it so you have a nice square and then you sum all of these areas um, if your line is perfect uh, what will happen is that that will be zero right if um, but here it will never be um, um, it will not necessarily be um, uh, zero it, it will have some sort of error based on the mean and then uh, what will happen, you will, uh, you'll have zero divided by whatever, which will be zero. And then that's the max you can get, one minus something that is small. Um, if the residual are worse than the mean, what will happen is that this will be um, quite big and could even be negative. Um, so what would, would that mean is that you're, depending on your mean and depending on your the how you normalize data, uh, the more negative you get, the less good the R square was um, and if you have um, uh, a model which um, if you have basically if you have this if you, your model is that um, then um, this is the baseline so you you'll have our uh, square of zero so if you have s total divided by s total you have one one minus one is zero so you can get negative you can get uh, um, zero and you can get positive but the more positive you are near zero, near one, uh, the better the, the fit is. So it's not complicated. It's a, bit, a bunch of, of for loop. We can implement it in, in various ways, but we're going to implement it um, using uh, C++ uh, with just a bunch of for loops. All right, so here is the code. Um, it's over there. The, the actual code is in my uh, repository for um, AI stuff. Um, but you can see it in the math.c++ inside the linear regression uh, folder. So let's take a look at our two, it's over here. So this is uh, like, uh, I tried to keep it as simple as possible. So you calculate the residual sum of square, right? With your uh, prediction, your uh, true values, and you need the length over here. And then you calculate the total sum of square, right? So this is the red thing that we saw before. This is the blue thing that we saw before. And then you do one minus this divided by that. Um, so it's fairly straightforward. So if you look at um, the residual sum of square first, it's just a full loop, right? Um, and what you you want to do is um, the following: you want to have your um, your y's, your prediction, you subtract the two, and you put it exponent two. And this is what we're doing. We're doing the residual here. So you have your true value minus the predicted and then you just um, do one times the, the same thing so this is the exponent 2 and then you you have a for loop here that will just accumulate the total uh, so the total at the beginning is, is 0 you iterate using the length through your whole array um, so those two of the same length and then you just accumulate this in the total and this is what you return so that's the residual sum of square and if we look at the total sum of square it's the same thing Except we have a mean instead of the y pred. Um, 
So you calculate the mean before and, and then you just do same thing. So it's the same exact kind of code, except you have here y pred, here you have just y mean. And you do the same thing. You accumulate and then you you um, you return it. So um, yeah, and the mean, we all know what the mean is. Um, we're just gonna sum the whole, uh, all the data points and divide by the length and then we're done. Um, so there's not too much to, to see over here, uh, but um, um, this is uh, to show that the, the implementation is not that complicated and the actual um, the actual rational behind the, the metric is not complicated either. Um, so that's it. So if you have any question about any of this, uh, feel free to leave it into the comment section. And like always, have a great week.